Let us offer this prayer for the President and Vice President and their families, for the people and government of these United States, for men and women of goodwill everywhere, captive and free, who watch us today. Please join me in saying the words our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Miss Jessie Norman will now sing Simple Gifts, one of the songs in Aaron Copeland's Old American Songs. Tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free, tis the gift to come down where you ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, we'll be in the valley of love and dear. Now ask Rabbi Alfred Gottschalk, president of Hebrew Union College of Cincinnati, to offer a prayer.
We, the people, turn to you, O God, in prayer. We have come again to this place which stirs our hearts to reaffirm the highest ideals of our nation. The sacred oaths about to be pronounced in your name reflect the awesome responsibilities entrusted to our president and vice president by the American people. May you, who are the rock of ages, guide them in protecting the Constitution of our beloved Commonwealth, founded in faith, which ensures unity without uniformity. Sustain them, O God, as they advance the American way, which gives to bigotry no sanction, to malevolence no hope. O source of all life, enshrine in their hearts the knowledge that all are created in your image and that life, your gift to us, is sacred. Inspire our leaders to defeat hunger and hurt, to promote compassion, and to find successful ways to assure the weak their share of America's promise. In humility, we pray that this opportunity for renewal will advance reconciliation in the family of nations, guaranteeing peace in our world and tranquility in the farthest reaches of our universe. May those who follow us, our children and our children's children, bless our president and Vice President, their families and all those associated with them in government, and may all remember this time and this administration as that in which their future was made secure. O oh God, may you who makes peace in high places help us here on earth to find the way to peace. Blessed are you, O God, O Seha Shalom, grantor of peace. Amen. Justice Potter Stewart will administer the oath of office to the Vice President. I, George Herbert Walker Bush. I, George Herbert Walker Bush. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the that same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this oath, this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. That I will well and faithfully discharge. That I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. On which I am about to enter. On which I am about to enter. So help you God. So help me God. University of Maryland Chorus, under the direction of Dr. Paul Traver, will now sing the first section of Randall Thompson's Testament of Freedom. <laughs> 